It's a little gem of ghastliness, I call, while the cat's away. P11 Baja Sand Slice, the most extreme ultimate speed machine. Awesome! Better than awesome. Fierce! You think Dad would ever buy us one, Stu? Right, Dwight. And I've got seven ninjas in my back pocket. He could at least ask them. Heck, maybe he's in a good mood. <laughs> I'll have to think about this. French cuisine is so rich. Yes, you are. Very, very. <laughs> that is, uh, <coughs> I mean, uh, a person of your stature deserves the richest of everything, Mrs. Crumb. <laughs> and this travel package is rather expensive. Well, you can't put a price on memories, Mrs. Crumb. <laughs> I put a price on everything, Mr. Hancock. But, uh, Mrs. Crumb, I, I'm sure I can. Good day. No. Oh. Hey, Dad. How's business? Things get any slower, I'm going to ask you guys for an allowance. <sighs> Hancock travel. <laughs> yes! We have many attractive packages. Uh, to, to Pennsylvania? Yes. We, uh, to Transylvania? Well, well I'm, uh, I'm sure I can put some sort of package together, yes. Mm-hmm. Ma 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 money's no object? <laughs> well, then, certainly. <laughs> First class all the way. I'll arrange everything. Uh, Mr. T. Charles King, 711 Woods Road. Later, Dad. Will that be... Oh, fine. He was getting in a good mood, Stu. Why did you ask him about the bike? Because we're gonna get the bike compliments of T. Charles Kingman. Huh? Hey! Try and keep up with the program, little bro. Jerk! Wait for me! <laughs> money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. It's almost as simple as you are. Kingman's rich and he's leaving town. All we gotta do is sneak into his place, grab something valuable, and the sand slicer is ours. Vroom! Vroom! But Stu... Hey, you ain't scared, are ya? Nah, it's just... well... that's... stealing! Picture if you will. The this 
destructive power of the P-11 Baja Sand Slicer at your command. Hasta la vista, baby. Kingman's gotta be gone by now. Are you sure this guy's a millionaire? Yeah, sure. The kind that don't waste money on house repairs. Come on. I don't like this, Steve. What if somebody's home? So we knock. Trading on a tricycle, Stu. You don't know that yet. Come on. I've read about crazy old guys like King Man. They live like they're poor, but when they die, someone finds millions of dollars stashed away in some hiding place. I can imagine what else is stashed around here. You and your imagination. Kill you if you don't chill out, Dwight. You're afraid of your own shadow. And every time you get freaked out about something, you turn into a woodpecker. I can't help it. What is your problem? This place is haunted, Stu. Let's forget the bike and get out of here. Forget my P11 sand slicer? I'd rather die. Don't say that, Stu. There's got to be something worth stealing. Start looking. For what? I don't know. All these libraries have secret panels that open up when you move a candle or something. found the secret hiding place. No, Stu, don't! I think I saw something moving in there! Get real, Dwight. What could be in there? Stu! 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 Head down, 
those stairs. Uh-uh. Deal me out. Treasure, dude. Maybe enough for two dirt bikes. Vroom? Hasta la vista, baby. some real valuable to protect. Listen, Stu, maybe it's just me, but that sure looked like a huh, werewolf. There's no such thing as werewolves, Dwight. Stop to feed me! Yeah! <laughs> Listen, Stu, I've been thinking about that dirt bike. Yeah, well, quit thinking, because soon you'll be... Vroom! What is this thing? It's pretty lumpy. and I owe you one, bro.
Uh, Stu? Give me a hand, Dwight. Uh, Stu? Keep lifting, Dwight. Stu! Okay, what is it? C -c -c Coffin! First hiccups, now cough. No, not coughing! Coffin! <laughs> Baja sand slicer. I promise if I ever get out of this, I'll ride my crummy old bicycle until I'm 80. Even better, I'll walk till I'm 80. Vroom, 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 vroom. Phew. That's a relief. <laughs> hey, wait a second. Ha! Take more than a little old spider to scare me. No more spitballs in history class. No more quarters in the arcade. I'll study 30 hours a day. Whoa!
équipe. Boy, Fifi Shaw gave me a warm welcome home. Yeah! Poor Stu and Dwight. I'll bet they need a vacation. I guess they learned that stealing can have grave consequences. But don't worry, I'm sure their criminal plans have been laid to rest. <laughs> Say, Ghoul Watchers, wanna see the slides from my trip? No! Join us next week, boils and gargoyles, for another fear fest. <laughs>